Welcome. <laughs> This is Vinny and James Go Mental. Welcome back. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe right away. We have a series of videos about FIB in Benicassim. It's one of the biggest festivals in Spain. If you are planning to go over, watch our other videos. We'll talk about everything apart from like camping to uh, glamping, you name it. And it's uh, go back, watch some of the videos. It's going to be great. This video is sponsored by Goso.io. These guys help you go viral on Instagram. They deal with celebrities all over the world. If you want to Use a coupon code, which is GOMENTAL. You will receive money off and it will show support to this channel as well. Thank you, guys. We're going to now talk about uh, parking. So if you do plan to go with a camper van to FIB Festival, there is camping areas right outside the main area. You do have to pay. I don't know how much it is. So if you go to the website, you can see that on there. We've seen a few people over the years actually bring a camper van. If it gets busy, if it gets packed, expect not to be allowed in there. And there's nowhere really else around in Benicus and where you can park. So if you are going to plan going to a new camper van or a big, bigger vehicle, arrive early on Thursday night, get there early. Once you, you're stationed in that parking, if you leave, don't expect to get back in as well. It's not reserved. It's only there. You need to stay put for the whole weekend. There's no power adapters to plug your car into as well. There's none of that. So when you arrive, that's it. We do recommend that you just camp instead. If you go to a villa camp or camp fest, it's great. There's hostels inside Benicassim and Bitford but you have to get taxes there if you've got money for it go for it but no uh, apart from parking head over to the website I'm very new to it because I've never really drove in and parked at Benicassim before um, check the website what else do we need to talk about I want to talk about dress up or actually the lack of dress up at Benicassim because it's one of my favorite things about festivals and especially the ones I've been to in England like Secret Garden Party and Best of All and you know Glastonbury they have fabulous fabulous costumes like people actually make a real real effort to dress up there and i don't think i actually saw anyone dressed up at benicassim everyone was wearing normal clothes guys we need to make an effort to like dress up and just dress up in awesome to costumes to be fair over the last six years i don't recall any dress up whatsoever i've seen people people wear glitter and stuff don't yeah, yeah a lot That's, of glitter which yeah. is fabulous obviously yeah, yeah. so you got uh pete girls and guys with glitter no t-shirts but yeah there's no actual i've never seen dress up before yeah that. and it's such yeah. a it's such a massive thing in english festivals as well like it, i went to secret cold. garden pie and i uh i bought my tiger onesie with me and then i didn't actually wear it the entire weekend because i thought it's too lazy a costume okay because people put so much effort into the dress up and they look absolutely amazing so guys is a festival man like dress up in awesome outfits if you're gonna you know when you dress up and go to a fancy dress party everything's just more fun yeah, that's why is, yeah. when you go to festivals and like people dress up in these awesome awesome outfits I if you go to the, if you go to benicassim and all of you are dressed up in incredible outfits you are going to have way way more fun than all the people around you dressed in shorts and a t-shirt yeah. because everyone is going to want to talk to you everyone's going to want to have a picture with you everyone is going to come up to you and it's like you're going to be like celebrities at the festival if you're dressed True. up in awesome outfits whether you, it doesn't matter what outfit you are it can be like superheroes you can dress up and just, just remember the heat though there, yeah, that is yeah. one thing you do That's not want to wear a tiger onesie to Benicassim no. you will die that is probably one of the reasons why there's not many people dress up is because of the heat because it is really really yeah. hot out there and uh, I mean you obviously could uh, wear the shorts and stuff but yeah if you wear body paint even that that would be good yeah yeah, yeah but you expect in an hour to be smudged because yeah of, look at me now I'm sweating we're in the end of July here in Barcelona mm -hmm. and the heat is nothing compared to yeah to Benny it's seriously, seriously hot but yeah yeah dress up it's like a, we might try next year actually yeah, we'll bring the bring the uh, Pumpage Network crew over to Fib, and we'll do a, a night of dressing up and see see where it goes. We will document it as well. So uh, in Benicassim Centre, um, in order to get there, uh, so you have the main uh, stage area, which is slightly it's about ten minutes drive away from the beach, and you have the main stage area. And next to there, you have Camp Fest, which is a free par uh, free camping. Uh, which comes with your wristband if you pay for that and then obviously outside of there you got the buses and you got the red line you got the green line and then you have the Renfrew line and you have the villa camp don't you blue line the, but yeah red oh sorry red <laughs> blue yeah. villa camp and train and the train is only operational on a thursday and sunday so if you do leave early you need to get a taxi or walk it's around about 20 mm -hmm. minute walk but yeah the villa camp one's straightforward isn't it it just goes yeah, straight yeah, yeah. 
So at the end of the night, if you're in Villa Camp, you just jump in a queue, the Villa Camp line, and it takes you straight to Villa Camp. If you do stay in the centre, you do have the red line and the the uh, green, the blue line. Uh, and these basically work in one goes clockwise one goes anti-clockwise and there's about four maybe five stops isn't he yeah, yeah yeah so it goes from the festival then it will go to uh villa camp uh one way and then it will go to mercadona uh, the other end of benicassim then it'll go to a beach stop then it'll go to another beach stop and then it will go uh what's your the other one another the area town Benic- the town center yeah. yeah and then expect the other line to do the totally opposite but in that direction so it kind of goes round around like that the buses uh, like i said it's 15 euros for the weekend we saw the first video we talked about that or oh, one euro 50. don't accept cards you need to be paid with cash otherwise you're going to walk it but no if you are in the center of uh Benicassim, you can walk around there's loads of food places around uh, if you're in the center there's a Mercadona which is like a, a Tesco of sorts so you can buy expect to queue a lot in there as well there's loads of mm. local businesses loads of uh, like Chinese shops which sell uh, fans and uh, everything. everything the Chinese shops sell yeah. everything they're fantastic so cool. if you if you get stuck it, it, it sounds a bit derogatory but they call them like Chinos don't they over here yeah mm-hmm. which means Chinese basically so yeah. so if you want to look for that it's like a hardware shop you can buy literally everything in these Chinese shops are really really good and the beach yeah. is a beautiful guys the beaches in Benicassim town center are really really beautiful so to go out and sweat out your hangover rather than just yeah. dying in a campsite all day long just like jump on the bus head down to the beach go and get some food and just lie on the beach to have be a couple fair, of beers you'll be uh, i've been to spain 10 years and the best beaches i've ever been to has been Benicassim. the sand is amazing yeah. uh, the sea is warm it's blue it almost feels like you're in the uh, in America somewhere or the Bahamas not as much as the Bahamas because <laughs> America's got beautiful beaches <laughs> yeah. but no it's better to see a few condoms in the uh, in the sea as well while you're swimming but don't worry just, just stay away from them but no the beaches are really really nice in Benicassim mm. it's really really hot uh, use a lot of sun sun protection there's not much uh, uh, shade there as well apart from a few trees mm. uh, the shops are amazing uh, support the locals in there um, Use, the local cuisine is amazing. You can get normally things called menu del dia, which is menu of the day, and you can pay like between like seven euros or maybe twelve euros, and it's a free course meal. So you get starter, main, dessert, and a drink as well, and maybe some bread. We had one of them, didn't we, this weekend? It was it's really great good, as man. Well. Yeah, get a bit of salmon. Make sure that you take advantage of the fact that you're by the sea as well. Like yeah. by, but in terms of, I mean. Get your seafood on, like the seafood platters they have there are amazing with mussels and shellfish and all seafood that kind of thing. Seafood in, in Spain is absolutely amazing. Especially yeah, it's near the take coast. advantage of it. If you're by the coast, you're going to have fresh, fresh seafood, which is what they have at Benicassim. It's seriously. Do you good. have off parties as well? I notice. So if you do arrive mm. early, um, if you because uh, the camp starts from uh, the Monday from the week the week it starts and they have these loads of local nightclubs around there as well and there's loads of like we saw posters in we say oh yeah, yeah, yeah and stuff like that and i get some of the big djs who are actually performing there actually uh hosting events so yeah take take advantage from there there's yeah. a big water park as well isn't there there is yeah, a water yeah. park there's a go-kart track this is uh, like t- two years now i've wanted to go on that go-kart yeah i've never done that before really yeah, next we, year. we, we uh, went uh, we last weekend and uh, yeah we were working so we literally didn't get a chance to do all this but yeah next year we should do there's a there is a, a massive water park there as well which seems really really good they've got like drop slides and all that type of stuff i've no idea how much it is but if you do check google maps and you can see the information on there it does get very very busy though but yeah support the local benicassim area it's great don't go to like uh, uh, McDonald's or Burger King and stuff unless you want to wait an hour no support the locals these guys it's a, normally a ghost town all year around so when you go to these festivals this is the only time of the year where these locals are actually making good money about our money don't get ripped off though because it was one year that I actually went and they showed you a picture of an English breakfast and there was a group of us and we were super hungover and we wanted to have some good English food we got there queued up sat down and it was like 14 euros for it as well and we're like screw it it looks great on the picture we ordered it it came it was like one sausage it was like a hot dog sausage one egg on the picture had two the bacon was uh, not back bacon like we would do we get in the uk the danish bacon it was like smoky uh, streaky bacon and it was dried bread what you get from the supermarket and they were charging they were trying to rip us off mm. and uh, yeah you will get stung so if you do uh, especially near the beach areas that says this is like a tourist trap area just make sure ask them if they're showing you a picture to say am i actually getting this because if i'm not i'm not going to pay they'll soon tell you they're like yeah you need to go somewhere else but yeah when you go into the benicassim center you will see a lot a lot more nicer food in there as well 
Please like, if we get over 500 likes on this video, we will release more bonus material at the end of the season regarding this as well. Like, comment, share with your friends. If you do plan to go to Fib as well, the more popular this series goes, we're gonna record more, more information for you guys. I go to other festivals around Barcelona, Barcelona, around Spain, mm -hmm. like uh, Bilbao BBK and other places as well. You've been to a few festivals as well. Mm -hmm. We will cover these as well as we get, as we get more popular as well. So apart from that, you guys have been amazing. Please leave a comment below. Please share, like I said before. You guys have been awesome. See you soon. Peace. Guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment on them. And check out the other playlist videos on the Pumpage Network.